Yo, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make amazing thumbnails, whether it be content videos or Fortnite highlights. And before I do start the video, I just want to say I have officially joined Team Flight as a content creator. As you can see, my IGN is now Flight Chronics, and I'm excited for the future. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into how to make amazing thumbnails. Alright, so here we are on pixlr.com slash e. Uh, we're not going to be using Photoshop. This is going to be completely free. Uh, so yeah, this is the photo editing website that I use to make my thumbnail and a bunch of people that can't afford Photoshop do too. And yeah, so first I'm going to start off with highlights and then I'm going to move on to content thumbnails. So to find a background, um, uh, we have backgrounds from Kobo. And I'm going to leave a link to this in the description down below. Credit to Kobo for the backgrounds. And yeah, so here we are over here. You know, you can choose any background that you prefer. Uh, I like this one, the way it's looking. I, I think I'm going to pr probably download it and use it for my next highlights. Uh, and then for the render, what skin you want to use. That's going to be needed. Um, I use this by Harku. I'm going to say Harku, probably pronouncing it wrong, but I'm going to use it by Harku Designs. So credits to him. I'm going to try and find a render and I will, I'll be right back once I find it. All right. So after thinking about it, I think I'm going to go with this render for my next highlights and yeah. All right, so here we go. We just downloaded the render and the Fortnite thumbnail. So now we're going to head on to Pixlr and we're going to open our image or we can just, you know, put in the, we can just drag in the background and here we are. All right. So first things first, you want to make the background look cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to filter and details and I'm going to probably put some, actually, no, not details. I'm probably going to first go here. And put some vignette around this because that would definitely look good uh some darkness around the background so i usually just mess around with the filters uh i would you know until and uh, until i find the one that i think is best for me you want to usually go for like the dark and light contrast because that would look amazing so i'm gonna find the perfect settings for myself and i'll be back all right, so I just put in some filters. As you can see over here in my history, I put some vignette, I put bloom, dehaze, and I cleared out the picture a little bit more, and I put some glamour. I did put some more bloom right before that, but I think this is looking really good. If we go back here, this is the actual thumbnail uh, background, and now when you edit this, it's looking much better. To be honest, I'm a huge fan of this, and now it's time to put the render in, and we're just going to click Add Currents once you drag it in, and then you want to resize it so it fits right on your thing, like that. You can make some adjustments, you know, how you want it to be, but look, again, you don't want to have it, you know, cut out like this. If you want to have a diagonal, just make it you know crop it to like you can't see the edges because that would look bad but in my case i'll probably keep it like this and then i'll go th to this in the middle and now i'm gonna just you know zoom it in a little bit okay that looks perfect and i want to keep it centered all right there we go um now this is we just put in the render and now what we can do we can go here to filter and we can outline it a little bit. Uh, definitely not red, but you can you could possibly choose like white. That would that would go best with the skin I have on. Uh, focus, which is cool. Or you can go with black too. Uh, black is black is okay, not the best, but I I'll take it because we already have the white hair, so it would not look good if I did a white outline. So I'll just keep it to black, but a uh, short little outline and stroke. To, to. Yeah, I think this is enough. And now you want to put the number of your highlights. So this is going to be for my number four, highlights number four. So what I'm going to go do is go to text and I'm going to click add layer. 
And the font you want to use is Burbank. Um, this font, I don't know where I found it, but I'll try and leave a link to the download link in the description down below if I can find it. If I can't, just search up on YouTube how you can download this font. And yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the color to yellow. All right, so, uh, and I'm going to increase the size to like 100. And now I'm going to put in the text number, oh, look at that, I put dollar sign. All right, number four, just like that. And you want to keep the layer of the text first. And I know how, I, I know this doesn't stand out. If you were to put it on top of the trophy, you can't even see the number. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here to styles, I'm going to click on outline, and put some stroke on it. <clears throat> so I'm going to change the colors to black, and increase the stroke on it a little bit, probably like to 44. And look at that, it actually stands out right there. And what I'm going to possibly do, since I do have a trophy, actually no, that's a little too much. Yeah, I'll increase it to 150, and I will... Just put the highlights number on the trophy like that. And boom. Just like that, we just created our highlights montage thumbnail. It was really simple. You can obviously mess around with the color. If you don't like yellow, you can possibly do red. But again, that wouldn't you know look good right now. Uh, in my case, at least. But Or if you want to put four out here, you can too. Um, I'm just going to keep it right on the trophy as I think that looks good for, in my opinion. So, and boom, that's my thumbnail ready to go for my next montage, which should be dropping in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that. So now you could just, you know, come here and click save. Make sure this is on 100 quality and width and height is 1280 by 720p. And yeah. All right. So. It's time for the content thumbnail and what I'm going to do, uh, I already have my thumbnail like main picture. I'm not going to be using a Fortnite background, so I'm just going to cancel out this page. But now it's time for, you know, the <clears throat> main thumbnail itself. So I have this picture of when I was playing Wordle myself and this video is about like just me playing Wordle. And I think this should be coming out next Wednesday, hopefully, if everything goes well. Uh, and yeah, so here we are making the thumbnail. Um, I'm going to keep it only till here because I'm going to I'm going to put something on the other side, which I'll show you guys in just a second. But I think that's enough for uh, this. Uh, maybe we can actually wait. We're gonna click on free transform again and make it just you know. A little bit to the side and now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this side right over here you guys are like what what are you gonna do with that why is that transparent still but one second let me show you guys what I'm gonna do with that now so uh, here we are on Google and I searched up green background you can search up any color you want but I'm gonna choose green for this video and I'm gonna copy the image and paste it right into Pixlr. So it would look like I have a green border right here. And I'm going to click on free transform, paste it, uh, I'm at zoom, crop it, you know, make sure it fits all the way to the bottom. Now we have a green background right there. So what am I going to do with that green background? I'm going to put my Fortnite skin on there, which I used this for the, for the video. Uh, Scarlet Commander, and now I'm just going to import that in, and I'm going to crop it and put it right in the center. I'm going to edit and free transform it a little bit, uh, make sure it looks good, you know, you don't want to have bad impressions. Uh, you can tilt it a little bit, and remember, as I said, you have to, have to you know, not have the cut on the bottom. You want to make it look professional. A little to the side maybe uh like that something like this would do uh this is looking already amazing <clears throat> so now you want to put some outline to the color uh i'm gonna go with white in this case actually no maybe i might go with green whatever fits best on your color go with that 
Uh, I'm going to go with green and I'm going to make the size down a little like that. Uh, green isn't the best to be honest. I'm going to maybe go with white. Yeah, white's looking perfect. Uh, as you can see, this is green and then the letters are in white. So that would look perfect over here. You want to have like the same color matching. You want to keep it the same almost. And yeah. So <clears throat> now this part. You want to maybe blur it a little bit because you don't want to give away what you're doing in the video. So I'm going to put a little bit of blur on it. Not not a lot, not a lot, just a little bit, you know. And just like that, boom. And now come here to Ice Kicks thing right here. And download the Red Arrow PNG. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do after that. Alright, so I just imported my Red uh, Arrow now I'm going to crop it down a little bit. Uh, maybe adjust a little bit more. All right, there we go. This looks perfect. Uh, you can keep it on the top. No, actually on the bottom. Bottom left is like a good place to put it at. Uh, maybe you can tilt it a little to the side like that. All right. So now what you want to do, you want to bring out a text tool. And you want to click Add and change the font to Burbank and change it to white as it would look good there and then you just want to give like one word about what you're going to be doing in my case i was playing wordle so i'm going to just put wordle right there and now i'm going to put it right in here and make it the same thing like that Hold up. Hold up. i'm going to use my arrow keys just to make it centered perfectly through that thing and I'm going to put a little bit of stroke on it just so it looks good like that all right so now we're just gonna bring it down a little bit okay that looks perfect right there wordle and that's pretty much how you can make a content thumbnail and a montage thumbnail if you guys enjoyed hit the like button hit the subscribe button it's been your boy chronics and I'll see you all in the next one peace out